how are we guys? Good to see you all again. Now, portable power supplies. Here's one I've made myself. I've had a look at many different types to buy online where they've got the battery and all your sockets and everything like that. I couldn't find anything exactly what I wanted. So I needed a couple of the uh, yeah, um, Anderson outlets, a um, couple USBs and a couple of the 12 volt outlets as well for my camping needs. When I go camping, sometimes I'll take a 12 volt TV. Uh, we've got the iPads for the kids, all the charging for the camera gear, drone. Um, we've got the power supply for our Waco fridge and also all our lights. Uh, laptop, everything like that. So we need a fair bit of power. So I've had a look online. I couldn't find anything I really liked, so I thought I'd build myself one. Um, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe, which uh, that little bell when you subscribe will give you guys notification every time I send out a video. So there is a build on this. There is a video of step-by-step -step on how to build one of these. I thought I'd just give you guys a quick rundown on what I've done. So I ended up going to Bunnings local hardware store, bought myself a box. I couldn't be bothered trying to make one. So I thought by the time I start doing the handles, the hinges, the timber, the marine carpet, the weight was going to get up there. Well, I used to run a 100 amp um, AGM, a deep cycle battery that weighed 28.5 kilos. Um, uh, usable amps, I only had about 50 usable amps, um, because you can only discharge those deep cycle lead batteries down to about 50%. So that's why I thought I'm going to up it, I'm going to go lithium. So now I'm running the 100 amp lithium. So you can use about 80 to 90% of that 100 amps. Uh, the weight difference on the lithium is incredible. I'm only looking at about 12.5 kilos instead of 28.5. So I've got myself double the amount of amps, usable amps, and at a weight of only 12.5 kilos. So I've made this box up myself. We'll take a closer look at it. But what I've done, I've got a lithium battery in there. I've got a kick-ass 40 amp MPPT controller in this box as well. Plus I've got the remote meter. The remote meter is completely Bluetooth as well to your phone. So at all times, you can sit there on your phone app and monitor every amp, all your watts, all your volts coming in and going out as well. The best thing I like about this, the way I've made it, it's completely flat. So now I can stack anything at the front, on top, all the sides and everything is flush. So there's nothing sticking out that can get caught when you're trying to pack up your, your truck and um, breaking things off. All the Anderson plugs I've done on top here, these here are all flush mounted. So they're about $15 each. Uh, they're the 50 amp Anderson plugs. Like I said, up here with my controller, that's a display which I can read that, go through the menu, do whatever I want through there, or check on the app. At the front, I've also got a little fan, a little cooling fan, which I probably don't need, but I've just put that in in case. And I've also, I can charge the battery straight from up here. Uh, I've got my main power supply switch, so that's my isolator. So that key comes out every time I pack it up. That's just to turn on, check the menu. I can actually see what volts I'm running at the front here. On the side, like I said, we will take a closer look. On the side, I've got two 12 volt cigarette lighter plugs. I have a USB times two there. And I've also on top got a double USB on top. Because pretty much everything's going to USB now. So with the battery, um, my solar controller in here, uh, all the wire and everything, I'm looking at about 13.5 kilos. So the weight itself is very, very light. And like I said, I've got 100 amps now of um, lithium battery I can use. Alrighty, let's take a look. We'll take a closer look. And we'll see what's inside this thing. Alrighty. Alrighty, we'll take a closer look here. So you can see at the front, just the isolating switch, just like that, which turns everything on. Might be a bit hard to see here. I've got a 13.4 volts, my little fan, and my little uh, charging points here. Up on the top here, I've got my load out. 
So I usually run my fridge straight into there. That goes straight to the MPPT controller as well. Got my another power out for Anderson, plus my twin USBs, one amp and 2.1 amp. Here's my remote meter. So that's pretty much tells me everything I need to know what's coming in and out. At the moment, sitting on 100% battery. Over this side, I've got my solar panel in. Obviously, that's where my panels go in. On this side, we've just got another two 12 volts inlets and another USB, one amp and 2.1 amp to charge all the stuff there. These toolboxes, like I said, they're $65. They can stack on top of each other if you buy a couple more. Good clips, they are dustproof and uh, waterproof too. I'll take a quick look. This is what I've got inside, guys. So that's my wire and it obviously needs to be tidied up a little bit. I'm definitely no sparky. Down in here is my 40 amp MPPT controller from Kickass. My wire and I've kept my manuals in there as well. And then my PowerTech 12.8 volt 100 amp lithium battery there. So that's pretty much it. I've got it fused as well. But like I said, there is another video of step by step on how to build it. Uh, I'm no sparky. If I can do it, I'm pretty sure you guys can. So I've, I've custom made this, like I said, just so I can have everything I need. We have just done a three day camp and um, I didn't have a problem. It stayed 100% the whole time. I was three days camping. We did have pretty good sun. Uh, ran the Waco fridge, 50 litre overnight, daytime at zero degrees. Outside temperature was 26 degrees. I can't find anything really else that I'd need to put on here, um, apart from maybe a little inverter, which I've got an inverter anyway in the camper trailer. But what I've done is set everything up for 12 volt, so I don't have to run that inverter. The only time I can see myself running an inverter if I've got something to charge, which I don't have a 12 volt adapter for, but like I said, I'm all set up now for all 12 volt, which is great. The only problem I can see with these are the size. They are quite bulky, but you can put a 50 amp battery in, you can do whatever size you want. But this is, I've, I've made this a little bit bigger, just so if I need to put a little inverter in there, I can as well. Um, when we are camping, it stayed on 100% the whole time. Not once did it drop down to 90%. I'm only running a 200 watt solar blanket from Kings, which there is another video below, which I've done a review on that, which I've owned for over a year now. Um, and like I said, that stayed on 100%. I, I unplugged the solar panels about 6 p.m. at night. I left my lights on at night on purpose, had the fridge set on zero just to see how if it would drop and it still stayed when I woke up in the morning it was still on 100%. Um, the phone app is great with kick ass. So there is a there is a link down below which I'll put in there which will take you to everything I've brought. The cost wise itself, the controller was the most expensive, the 40 amp, which you don't have to go that big. That was about $170. Um, the remote meter, I think that was about $80 and then your connections all up cost me about $80. So it's not too bad, battery's your biggest problem. There is a lot of companies out there that do the lithium batteries as well. I wanted to walk into a shop and buy one, so I had that guarantee, I knew what I was getting. Uh, I had wanted warranty, and I wanted to make sure I could physically pick it up and feel it, and, you know, before I actually paid for it. Alrighty, so you've had a look at the homemade portable power pack that I've built um, like I said guys hit like and sub subscribe hit that little bell that little notification bell so you guys get the heads up when the video of the build comes out so it is a step-by-step -step build of exact breakdown uh, all the components the tools you need and everything like that but like I said this thing was brilliant I've only had it tested for a week and then we took it out up to Barrington Tops for three-day camp up there and I couldn't fault it um, like I said, I'm completely set up on all 12 volt gear, so that's why this is perfect for me. Um, 
If there's any question, guys, chuck in the comments. I'll get back to you guys straight away. Make sure everyone looks after themselves. Take care and be good. All right, cheers.